Right, first of all, uh, what's your name? Where are you from? Age? Hi, my name's Dave Giles. Yes. I'm 34. I'm from London in England. And you traveled all the way to the United States for the Apollo 11 50th anniversary celebration. Yes, sir. I arrived yesterday and I'm here for the next 17 days. And I start here, I go to Washington tomorrow, go and see Neil Suit, and I'm going to be in Houston for the anniversary of the landing. And then I've got a road trip where I'm going all the way around trying to see as many of the old Apollo capsules and space shuttles and Mercury and Gemini capsules as possible. Sounds like so, a wonderful visit to America. Is this your first uh, okay. trip to America? No, no I've done this. Okay. It's the uh, first now, on this scale. Now, you're way too young to remember any of the Apollo missions. Yeah. What created this interest in you, this curiosity? My mother. Your what? My mother. My your mom. mother? Yep. She... Uh, I remember being very small and her talking passionately about uh, Kennedy and the moon landings and Apollo 13, and her getting really emotional about it. Then we came here to Kennedy Space Center when I was about seven years old and it just captured my imagination. The, so the, the fire the, was lit in your mind and yeah, it's never the, the old Saturn V rocket which used to be in front of the VAB. Uh, everything about it and from that point on I was hooked. Noise have been. Uh, watch every documentary, read every book, and then plan this. I had to be here. Couldn't think of anywhere else I needed to be. Uh, uh, Apollo um, 11, the language is a little dated, but Neil Armstrong uh, said we were doing this mission for all mankind. Yeah. That was on the plaque, I believe, but uh, it really was truly an international. The entire world participated. I remember reading in my little hometown newspaper about Londoners going out in the streets and yeah, celebrating. Uh, apparently so. I mean, it, 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 I think I've read a quote, I think it was Gene Sandon who said uh, when they did their world tour, they couldn't believe that people were saying to him things like, um, we did it from other countries, we did it. Even though it was an American achievement, you can't deny it was an American achievement. It's definitely a humankind, mankind achievement. Uh, so there was an international team, yeah, scientists and engineers and workers from every country participated in yeah. But it's, it's something that, that uh, the, other, the other quote I heard recently was, uh, maybe, maybe Apollo 11 was the last time the world was really won. Yes, yes, the last great American achievement as well. And let's hope that soon we will have a return to the moon and hopefully the United States will be able to launch its own astronauts on its own rockets. That would be great. It's, it's certainly, as a country that doesn't have a space program, it's great to see it being done and it's inspiring. Like, what's great, the internet's great, so I can watch all the launches live. I'm going to try and get out some more launches, but it's obviously expensive. And uh, I'm a musician, so I don't have much money, but I took some time off for this and uh, I'm glad I have. Well, it was so nice to meet you. And you and as well. And have a wonderful rest of your visit. Thank you very much.